Good morning. It's a wet one. We had storms last night, a lot of them. But I got some news for you. I'm going to show you some things that are going to be needing to be done. Now, this is what your lettuce is going to look like as it's growing. You can continue picking these leaves, but eventually this is going to produce some seeds. Collect your seeds so you only have to buy seeds one time. That's my advice. That way you can keep your costs low because if you can't get the seeds or you just, for some reason you just, you just can't do it, you can always buy what you need. But this way you're not buying your whole crop. Look at the basil. Now remember, this is how you eat. Get in here and if they get to be too big, just go ahead and cut the tops off and leave the uh, roots alone and they'll help compost. But if they're, too, if they're small, you can get in here. Now once it rains, it's really good to get in and get everything or water the plant in the bucket because then it's easy because the soil is wet as all get out. So it's just so easy to pull these things up. And you can do some or all of it, whatever. Look at the spearmint and the peppermint. Strawberries. More strawberries. Here is your spinach. And I'm collecting some rainwater for some indoor plants, as you can see up there. Right now I'm working a lot, so I'm putting a hold on planting some more stuff right now. There's some more seeds there. The blueberry plant. Now if you plant blueberries, you gotta plant two. You can't just plant one because they have to cross pollinate. Plant them close to each other. There's some more I gotta put in the ground and put in buckets. Look at that, blooming. Now here's something I found. I have this one here that has not enough drainage. So I gotta put some more drill holes. I'm gonna put it on the side because I'm not gonna tip it upside down. This one I discovered I have no drill holes and there was a ton of water. I poured off the excess. I'm gonna have to drill holes around the side this morning. So if you see that you have too much water going on, just means add more drill holes. So I'll set that aside and drill it inside. I'm gonna take these and combine them or I might get some more dirt. I might take some dirt out of the uh, garden. We'll find out. But right now I'm not overly concerned. I worked 19 hours last night, so kind of tired. That was a miscalculation on my part. Now see this one here? This one here has way too much water in it, which means I need drill holes in this one also. So you just take it to the side for what you have to put more holes. Now add the holes in the side. That's all you got to do. Three or four drill holes on the side, you'll be good. But see, you can see if there's any problems uh, with your buckets easily. Whereas in your garden, you're taking a look. And I see that I need to add about two truckloads of dirt, if not four, before next season. But as you can see, and my blackberry bush is growing. Now, I need to get this trimmed down. Right now, the lawnmower is on the fritz. So I'm going to have to bring the other one over from the other house. Now, here is the broccoli. Here are our greens that you have to worry about the cabbage worm. Now, as you'll notice that this one here is really overgrowing its bucket. That's cabbage. And these will, and broccoli. And they will. So, that's a good thing. Keep putting your powder on there. Keep the uh, cabbage worms from overtaking it. As you can see, we had a lot of rain last night, a lot. So this will dry out probably in a day. But just want to show you, there, you know, there are problems when you do garden. Not anything you can't get around. If you kill some of your crop, you replant, especially in five gallon buckets because you're not limited to your seasons. Look at all those peppers. And then just taking a look around here. I took a brief walk on the cement patio I'll show you all that. Just look at that. That's just amazing. And that's all the black top dirt that I got for next to nothing uh, where I work. So there's all that. There's all that growing. And more peppers. I have to be careful because most of those peppers on the, in the ground, most of them, not all of them, are hot peppers. And some of them are ghost peppers. And if you know how hot ghost peppers are, I don't know if you even want to try them, but um, that's what they are. I'll probably dry them and then sell them. Uh, let's see what we got going here. Crabgrass, get it out of there. Um, now I'm going to show you some things because I noticed this when I was doing the walk around real quick. Is that, all right, you see all these runners? These are going to make new strawberry plants. So I'm going to find a way to get them off the ground 
Look at that strawberry, nice and red. So the strawberry plants, a couple of them, three of them are doing runners. That's where you get your new uh, plants, and that's what I want. So I'm going to let those grow and probably clip them and plant them. Now look at this. Now see? All I got to do is get in here. If they get to be too big, just cut the tops off and then let the roots stay in there and no big deal. This one here, Strawberry Jewel. Picked it up from uh, Burpee Seeds Direct. And that's not anything I planted. So you can just get in here real quick and pull out the ones that might produce a problem with it later. And no big deal. Done. That's one nice advantage to five garden buckets. Now, I have more of them getting ready to ripen. And get rid of that there. That one's not doing so good, but the other ones are. Now look at that. Now you gotta keep your eyes open for tomato worms. If you're not doing your powder or your spray, because they will take, they will happen. Now look at these beans. These are these are climbing beans. They put out this beautiful red flower. And if you put a trellis, they will climb themselves. You do not have to worry about doing it. They love to climb. I'm looking forward to this. It's a new variety for me, provided by my spouse's friend. And then some more onions, garlic. Tomato plants are doing good. And I'm going to walk this one here. And then I'm going to show you. This one here has a little bit more water than I would like. Not bad, though. I'm not going to worry about it. If it's still there by, you know, tonight, tomorrow, then, yeah, I'll be a little bit concerned. Potatoes. 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 Now, we have an eggplant forming right here. See that? An eggplant forming right there. Squash. Eggplant. Squash. Mustard seeds. I mean, mustard growing. Blooming. And then bok choy. And see a squash there forming. This one's got nothing. Here's a potato right here, finally. There's a potato. I don't recommend that you read these things until you actually see what your plant is going to be. So that took a long time to germinate. Okay, now we're going to go in these, these buckets. I'm going to show you all the fun stuff. All the fun stuff. Now, that's another basil. See, let's see how far down that is. Now, this is one of the potatoes, the blue one. And then, look at that. How beautiful is that? That is the horseradish plant. Celery, squash, onions. Just absolutely beautiful. There's the dill growing. I believe that is. I'd have to take a look at the identifier, but I'm pretty sure it is. Radishes are doing good. Just everything's doing nicely. This one here is not picking up very well, so we'll give it some time and see what happens. If it doesn't take, we can just go ahead and put some more seeds in there. Because you're not limited if you're going to grow them indoors under plant lights to your growing season because these are movable so that's what's taking place today a lot of rain a lot of rain and decisions on what to do or if we're done as i'm hoping <laughs> it's a lot of work um i'm gonna cut back my work hours a few but yeah here we are beautiful yeah i'm not doing 19 hours again that was crazy I miscalculated. I thought it was going to be 16 and a half when I got through with my lunch. And I don't mind that once in a blue moon at all. And Robin's going to love eating the, the uh, worms. But that's that's the baby. So keep up the good work. Don't forget when you have problems, find solutions. You can listen to my videos like I just showed you. These here have too much water, so I'm going to get the drill and drill holes in the side roughly around there so that they can go ahead and drain. So, and that's it, folks. Hope you love your gardening. Hope you have a great day. And don't quit, because your efforts will pay off.